glad to see you so much for you. My name is Sasha, Sasha Kortenkova, and the miniature that I'm showing tonight is titled Landslide. I brought some items with me that are going to become my stage design. And they are my personal items, shirts and sweaters. And there are a little stories behind each of them. This one I bought uh, in States, in San Francisco, 2018. <coughs> in a touristic shop and it was the last item so we can guess it was quite popular <laughs> however i usually do not wear excel i could not resist <laughs> so i bought it this one I feel related in a very many ways too. Because as a kid, I used to dance little swans a lot. <laughs> and when I say a lot, I mean to the extent that you now wake me up in the middle of the night, I would still be able to do it. And it also stays here in 1991. And this is a year when a massive political transformation happened in the country that I'm coming from. And militaries wanted to interrupt the massive protests on the streets, so they intervened in Moscow with the tanks. And in order people to not know that there are tanks on the streets, they first captured the television station. And they have been broadcasting Swan Lake all over Soviet Union back then. This one is actually the same streetwear brand as that one. It's called Sputnik, but it was way before Corona, so it's another Sputnik. In Russian, in Russian Sputnik means satellite. And in Mandarin, here it's also written satellite. And I bought it in Berlin. Mm -hmm. in a flea market <laughs> from girl who had no idea what that means. This last one is from a very tiny no-name store in a small city in Russia, Yaroslav. And it's just written here, like for like. It was announced as a dance performance. And I'm a dance artist, so usually what I do, I more move than talk. And since I'm a dance artist who comes from the country that behaves nowadays in a way no one would wish it, my initial dance training was the ballet. And later, when I started to visit more modern and contemporary dance classes, 
I found myself challenged by the concept of grounding that they have been talking a lot about. If you have ever been on a dance class, contemporary dance class, they're talking about weight, about gravity, about earth, and they tell you that earth and gravity would always be there for you to support. You know, for the person who comes from ballet background, it's not an easy task to do. Because ballet is all about an opposite. It's about pretending that gravity doesn't exist. So I was challenged by this task <clears throat> and I wasn't the best student in the class, but I was very eager to found it, to feel it, and <coughs> I did my best. I think in German you call these people Strebe? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So at some point <coughs> I had a feeling that I got it. Wait. Right. And yeah, I felt supported by the floor. And later I started to travel more and I start to move out of my country and to meet people who have been referencing this grounding in a more metaphorical manner. They were talking about community, culture, language, sometimes even land that they feel supported, nourished, empowered by. They were asking if I have similar feelings, and I have been struggling again, because Russia is a current state uh, first of all, it's even younger than I am. And <coughs> Russian culture. Let's say so, uh, for me, there is a vivid split between what is considered as a Russian world's heritage, you know, Chekhov, all this 19th century stuff. And there was an everyday environment that I was exposed to from my childhood. And it's rather the Soviet visuals, you know? <clears throat> Battle houses, massive avenues, dusty streets, noisy subway, poor people. As a kid, I used to travel to Kiev a lot. 
my mom was born and grew up there. My granny, cousins, aunt, nephews, they live there. And for me as a kid, it didn't feel as a different country. And for a while it wasn't. I saw the same metal houses, <clears throat> massive avenues, dusty streets. Several letters. <coughs> and Russian language that people can talk and can understand. So when I was coming back to this idea of what I feel supported by grounded or even belonging to. At some point I get that this is not Russian identity, it's post-Soviet. And it happened to me not many years ago, just maybe a couple when I understood this connection and recognized it as a culture, you know, these items that used to be my funny and brave statements. I mostly wear them at home right now. Once I have been experiencing an earthquake. And I remember quite vivid this feeling of the ground shifting under my foot. And that feeling recalled back then my memories about the dance classes where they told me that <coughs> Earth would always be there for you to support. And I was feeling this shift and I was thinking, what if it would not? What if it wouldn't support me? 